Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Ellen Wake. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Alright, let's continue this let's play. So we gotta find a key to get Barry out of there. Somebody's probably gonna break this mother down. Hold on. Hey, watch the hold up. Come on, this place is over. That was easy. You know I got my allergies. I'm coming, I'm coming, Barry. Chill out. Do this. <clears throat> hey, let's go, man. Waiting on you, son. We go through. Tell me We're you got the key. Together to open this gate, oh, okay. Looks pretty heavy. Ah! <laughs> hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. Pretty strong, We're Barry. Almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Yeah. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla. Oh, I'll get this side this time. Switching sides. On, one more gate. Let's do this thing. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Chainsaw on the tree. Um. Well, let's try the front door. As God. And the fuse box, huh? The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Downstairs? Go this way? Oh, hello. Oh, how do I go to the basement? Oh no. Fuse box is upstairs. Okay. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. All right, this reveals it then. Hello? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Fix the record. Oh, downstairs. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Oh, God. Of course. We need to find where know it's coming the truth. from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? That's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't get any worse, I guess. Find her, right? And even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, god damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? Exactly. What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. 
I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. We're gonna find her. Oh man. I hope Barry doesn't die. That'd be really disappointing. the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the anderson's moonshine i was there an out-of-body observer this was the night alice and i had arrived at bright falls the night alice had disappeared i had a chance to find out what had happened i remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark alice would have never turned the lights off yeah alice alice I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I Can had I of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice. And so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy oh. prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. So I thought I saw something up there. Okay. The oh. dark presence had Holy touched fuck. me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in this study. Alice! That's where she is. Maybe. You can apologize. Put it behind you. Huh. Alice? Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. You're not helping. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed her. Ah! Listen, now I can write, yeah. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Oh. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Oh, okay, I get it. That means I already wrote the whole thing, though. I'm just collecting the pages. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I had written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of the novel entitled Departure. 
Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. Thank you, Zane. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and <laughs> fading fast. So he gets into the car, oh, okay. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, it's James your fault. Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Say what? End of episode four. There's an old yep. <laughs> Previously on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Or is it a light? Hello. 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 Hopefully they have All the help me break out of jail. Were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Ew. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, yeah. Hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Well, if you feel any better, I think we're the only people in here. I am never. Guard! I need to talk to Weep. She's the one in the song. Very smell The lady right. of the light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, Al, but we're still here. Yelled. They're not Shh. gonna... Shh. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. 
You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Ah, Agent Knight. Did it tell you how I, I escaped from jail, superior. though? Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my. <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, oh. I insist. <sighs> Oh. Yeah, the house Wait, is still down wrong? there, though. Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. <laughs> Whoa! Get... <laughs> Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead. That was hurtful. Wait a minute. I know this. Yeah, this is how it happens. You should have read that. <laughs> oh my God. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Okay, cool. Oh man. Uh, two We're pages. Nightingale Jeez. tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true, impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. <laughs> Put the lights out. Stay cool. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Ah, uh, see, I knew that would happen. They bust me out and... Where's that one guy that was in jail? I don't remember him. Or, I mean, he's not here, but... Why is your office so far away? Barry's gonna get eaten alive back there. Where'd he go, Barry? Are you okay, Barry? Here are your things. Wait, what do I need to know? What oh. do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Where's my big ass flashlight? I had a friggin' lantern flashlight or whatever. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. <laughs> We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Perfect. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. Barry, These just guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, right. let's go, Wake. Let's do this. Through the back. Oh, okay. You think there's any way I can order one out? No. Why can't we do these things during the daytime? I don't understand. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. Oh. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, That's what okay? that ladder's for. Can I get through? Oh, okay. I can just walk up it, I guess. Oh, boy. I see you. Yeah, okay. Finally, I can use this ladder. Wait the whole game for it. <laughs> oh, look at all this crap everywhere.
in light, you can hurt them. Thank you. Cool, and jump. Nice. Oh no. Make it. Hey, Sheriff. Okay, that was Password. pretty easy. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This <laughs> town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. Kind of. Okay, Fuckin stay a. close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. Alright, cool. Holy shit. Uh, Sheriff, we got a problem. Boom. Nice shot. <laughs> What's up with this fucking game? Was that? <laughs> Gotta stop with all these floats here. Come back. Thought I heard him coming back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, nice hammer. Woo! Should have brought a gun, son. the diner, huh? Probably have to go in there, right? <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? I'm in the middle of town. It's gonna be a shorter episode today, so uh, like and favorite. If you liked, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.